Hey guys, this is Zach Hample in Memphis, Tennessee, and I am with my half-sister Martha. You might remember her from the vlog I did in Cuba a few months ago. Now, I'm here as part of a much bigger baseball road trip for like a week and a half, but I'm not filming the whole thing. I mean, I'm gonna do individual stadium videos, but as far as the vlogging goes, I just decided to do it here in Memphis because it's gonna be a very action-packed couple of days. There's a barbecue fest going on, but not just any barbecue fest. What is it? It's the Memphis in May World Championship Barbecue Festival. You heard it right there. I'm also going to be going to a Memphis Redbirds game tomorrow, a rare minor league appearance for me. Going to be doing some media stuff. My videographer Brandon will be showing up tomorrow. Other friends here. So just thought I'd document the action and share it with you guys. Hey! It's weird seeing you on in our parts. So that is Amy. You might remember her from Cuba as well. And that's Amy's daughter, Emma. Hey. Oh yeah, we're gonna make you YouTube famous. So we're just trying to figure out how many times I've been to Memphis before. And yeah. Martha thinks the answer is twice, right? Yeah. Is it weird to like pull up in a driveway and see cars and a house? No, I've been outside in civilization, <laughs> thank you. I love how Amy turns air into a two syllable word. Air. Can we get some air back here? Air. Hey, hey. Kathy. Hello. Hey, Kathy. So what are y'all in the mood to eat? Evidently, we have some special access where we can actually peek into AutoZone Park right now. So, let's go check it out. Why, thank you. Two ways to eat ribs in Memphis, dry and wet, and there's a big debate over which is better. The rendezvous has dry. We'll see. Let's see. <laughs> Coconut pudding. No, what am I actually eating now? Dry ribs and beef brisket. <laughs> nice. I am so full right now and happy. Hey, get off your phone. Bye. So Emma just taught me what A-M-O-S-C stands for. <laughs> Add me on Snapchat. So I put her handle in there and how many followers did you just gain? 17. I get the assist for that one. No. Oh yeah, I do. No, you don't. We're Elvis I don't right there. Oh, I don't, I don't think we can house. Yo, these roads suck. You suck. Young man, there's no need to feel down. I said young man. Hey, bring it back. Oh my God. <laughs> Farts aren't funny. <laughs> it's not funny. I blame you guys for that one because you made me eat that barbecue. Tighten that sphincter. <laughs> oh my god. So, Martha, explain to everybody where, in fact, we are right now. Right now, we're at my new venture, Railgarten, right in front of the ice cream parlor known as Cones. This place is pretty slick, I have to say. And out there in the back, beach volleyball. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How many people have followed you? 78. In just the last like hour or two? True, yep. Okay, so Emma is 14 years old and we just asked her if she would date someone 15 and she was like, I, yeah. don't, I don't know, maybe. I mean, maybe. Then I was like, would you date a 13 year old? And she... <laughs> Not a cougar. <laughs> Not a cougar. Wow, because that's a huge age differential right there. Oh man. Rec room, baby, here we come.
This is another one of Martha's business ventures. She's a partner here too. It's called Rec Room. They got ping pong, skee ball, video games, and you can see behind me these huge screens where they got the games on, a lot of Major League Baseball. I think if I lived in Memphis, I'd probably hang out here quite a bit. And by the way, this is all very new to me. Rec Room has been open for about two years. Rail Garden has only been open for like a month and a half. I'm kind of embarrassed to admit how long it's been since I've been to Memphis. Come on, group hug, get in here. Mother, daughter, and Zach, there we go. Bye. And now we are heading back to Martha's place for the night. By the way, I woke up in the same hotel room today as Brandon in Fort Lauderdale. He flew to Atlanta to rent a car because we're gonna be driving from Memphis to St. Louis to Atlanta and then flying back to New York and then going to Philly and games in DC, Baltimore. Basically, it's gonna be cheaper to rent the car in Atlanta and return it to Atlanta. So he did that to save me a few hundred dollars. What a bro. And also probably to get the hell away from me for like 24 hours. Hello, cat. Hello, Martha's house. Hey, get off my backpack and come say hello. There we go. Yes, make the bed. Make me feel welcome. Who's our good boy? I know, it's terrible. Hey, 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 you don't want to be doing that. What's he doing? He has a drinking problem. <laughs> That's not the way you want to live your life. Bro, seriously, can we talk about this? What are you doing? You're better than that. Please stop. That's making me uncomfortable. Dude, what is going on? You see, you drank from the toilet, and it's making you loopy. No, see, you gotta listen to me. I'm, I have your best interests in mind, okay? This is just not a good situation. You need help, okay? And, well, good night. Well, bye! <laughs> what? Jesus, you're the one that just woke me up. Why are you complaining? Oh yeah, baby, we vlogging. Well, good morning. Did you notice that I shaved? That's because I'm getting ready for my TV interview on what station? WREG Channel 3, Memphis. We're talking in announcer voices today. So it's like 8.30 in the morning and I'm kind of tired because Martha's cat was <laughs> pestering me all night, which was kind of cute, but kind of annoying. Bye. All right, my TV interview just ended and I was led through this maze of hallways and equipment rooms here at the station because I requested a quiet spot. So here I am in this tiny little conference room. Basically, in about two minutes from now, ESPN Radio is calling, I'm gonna do a live interview with them on the phone, and then I think the station has something else planned for me after that. My radio interview is done, and as you can see, I am now outside the station, here with a guy named Danny Rubio who is the digital content producer at Channel 3. Cool, and we are about to do a Facebook Live for the station. This is, what, this is the behind the scenes stuff right now, like. There you go. I have to like hand, I have to hold all this stuff and make sure that the gimbal is gonna be able to have enough slack <laughs> to, to get the shot. Aren't you going to ask me how it went? Sorry, I'm real broken drama. Um, how'd it go? Great! Luckily, I f***ing watched it from the treadmill with no sound because Amy f***ed up and taped the wrong channel. <laughs> I'm so pissed at her. She's like, you said it was so-and-so. I said, no, I said it was live at night. So what do you want to do? Do you want to go? I am so hungry, I you know. don't even know. Did we post from Real Garden? Yeah, 
hanging out at Martha's office right now, by the way. Excuse me, I'm just stuffing myself with snacks. Whoa, fancy. And there she is. Look at this cute office with the amazing view and dun, 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 my book and a commemorative ball from Japan, which I gave her because we were there together at the Tokyo Dome. Hello. Yeah, what's up? Hi. We're about to walk to Gus's from the office. The real reason that I made Martha take me to her office to print rosters. Well, uh, no, Emma, what are you, what's it? Well, hey. How'd it go? Excellent. Wonderful. Yeah, it was pretty good. Hello. Hello. Blackhurst, party bait. All of them. Welcome to the wonderful world of Southern Fried Okra. Oh my God. It's all for, it's all for me. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I guess I'm gonna gain about two pounds per day here in Memphis. Oops. It's about 1.45 p.m. I am meeting Brandon in two hours and then we're cruising over to the stadium. What's up, dog? What's up, dog? We're vlogging, baby. No. Me and Martha can get drunk later. Oh, yeah. Martha's gonna be drunk when she gets to the all right, let's do this. What's up, everybody? Yo, yo, yo! So it is the bottom of the fifth inning, and the Redbirds are winning 3 nothing. How do you feel about that? Woo! Woo! <laughs> Coconut pudding. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. So, where are we? We're at Laughlin Yard in the south part of downtown. And, uh, and look uh, at this gorgeous meal that is about to be consumed. Oh, yes. Are you ready for us to sing to you? Down by the River by Neil Young is playing. It's coming. Get ready for it. Down by the river I shine. Right here, right here is perfect. Thank you so much. Anything I can do to help other than film? Well, that pretty much concludes my time here in Memphis, and things did not exactly go as planned. I actually missed out on Barbecue Fest because of awkward timing with the game, and then at the game, let's just say the video didn't really go as I was hoping it would, so I had to scrap the whole thing, but that just means I'll have to come back and visit my amazing family. Still had a great time here. Hope you guys enjoyed this abbreviated vlog, just a couple of days really here in Memphis and I will catch you guys soon.